and welcome hello everyone so i hope you've all seen my last unboxing video where i've got those lovely watercolors that i've never tried before so i'm going to swatch them now and see what happened in case you haven't seen the video lana sent me a little box for my birthday which has been a while ago um at least when this video is going up and there is some Lucas watercolors and Daniel Smith watercolors. I believe I might have tried the Fuchsia. Mm, don't know how to pronounce it, but I think I might have tried that one. The other ones are totally new for me. So I'm going to give it a try, swatch it a bit, and we'll just see how they react. And maybe. You're gonna learn something new too. I don't even know if I can buy Lucas watercolors in Austria. I've never seen them before. So it's definitely a very cool opportunity to try them. The yellow looks extremely vibrant. I am a big fan. Oh, so <laughs> no, I just love making swatching videos and just talk a bit about the paint and I hope um, that you like them as well, even though they're taking a bit time, but I suppose it would just be nice to have it running in the background or something. Just imagine I'm keeping you company. Friend who's doing watercolor swatches in the background. So the uh, lemon yellow and aureolin, they look pretty similar, I must say. In the swatches at least so i suppose the real line is supposed to be a bit warmer and lemon yellow is usually a very cool yellow but they look well not not much different it's a tiny bit let's try gamboge yeah that's getting a bit warmer almost a light orange hmm well, that looks good, like freshly pressed orange juice. <gasps> yes. Check this out. I really love the paper, by the way. Um, hopefully don't forget to show you later, but I'm using it for almost every piece nowadays. It's very good quality. So here's gold ochre. Oh, that looks trans... No, not transparent. Um... Yeah, it's, uh-huh, okay, <laughs> that's interesting. So it's a very intense color, very dark. I love to see how different brands make basically the same kind of pigment into something totally different. And here we have burnt sienna. I usually always love the earth tones. Browns and blues, they're very relaxing to look at. I mean, not that I don't like the others. I mean, yellow is also very nice, but I mean, just look at that. It's just, oh. and it's granulating heavily. You can see that from here. I'm sitting quite far away, so <laughs> that the camera picks everything up. Um, I've got so, quite some granulation going on here. So what's the next one? Burnt Amber. They're still all Lucas paints, by the way. Um, I just wrote down a little L so I don't mistake them for the Daniel Smith paints. So the quality seems to be very good. And maybe I should have watched some reviews um, because I, I don't have an opinion on Lucas paints because I never had them. But they seem to be very vibrant and they mix well so i can't complain that is how do you even pronounce that caput mortem it's a type of brown that looks almost a bit purple how cool is that I'm really happy that Lana sent me 
some paints because I would have never gotten to try them out. I remember us just talking about um, how I'm planning to order some watercolors on Amazon, but I wasn't really sure about it, um, about the quality and if I need even more because I have too many different watercolors around. Um, well, I, I didn't order it eventually, so um, I ended up just waiting for what's in the box and now um, yeah, I have even more watercolors, so <laughs> I'm glad I didn't add, add anything to the collection. That would have been too much. So here's permanent, permanent red. It's a very warm red and it looks artificial as hell. I've never seen anything like it. I'm not sure if, I mean, in mixes maybe, but as a color on its own, it's... Mm, almost a bit painful to look at. So here's purple. I'm sorry if the colors are all over the place. I'm just swatching them in the order I've got them. Just wrote it down on a piece of paper and decided to just go with the flow. Oh yeah, that's a nice purple. I don't know well, it's PB19. I don't know which pigment that is, but it looks very familiar. I think I've got some versions of that. Oh yeah, here's my favorite. Indian Throne Blue. For people who don't like... Um, damn it, what's it called? The other thing. Cobalt Blue. No. Um, <laughs> See, I keep forgetting which paints I don't like. It was Ultramarine. I'm not a fan of ultramarine. I even made a video about it, just me being salty at ultramarine. And Indian Throne Blue is the much nicer version. So yeah, it looks cool. Um, what can I say? <laughs> it's a good color. It's a good pigment. Now for the next one that is Cobalt Blue. Oh yeah, that's also a strong one. Yeah, cobalt blue is like ultramarine but um, opaque. That's the word I was looking for. Not transparent, it's opaque. So gold ochre looks very opaque to me. And cobalt blue obviously too. So granule. <laughs> Oh man, it granulates quite heavily. Now for cobalt turquoise. Oh shit, that looks great. Almost a bit like the phthalo colors. <gasps> so nice. Because it's probably my favorite color so far. Oh, it's juicy. No. Yeah, that, that one is the best so far. I mean, there's still some colors left, but yes. Um, I need to make a piece with this as the central color. Now this is, oh, this was just turquoise and now we have cobalt turquoise, I'm sorry. So yeah, of course, also an opaque color. It looks very nice. It, uh, it reminds me of a swimming pool a bit. Hmm. Yeah, it's also very beautiful, but nothing beats turquoise. I believe it's probably phthalo blue or phthalo turquoise. Or is it PB16? Yeah, I think so. Um, now we have Verona Green Earth also heard of that pigment before but I'm not sure if I have it. Oh that's a cool one. Ha. Huh. Yeah I'm pretty sure I've never tried anything like that before. And now that the yellows have dried a bit you can see I think a slight difference. A real in looks very neutral so it's neither too warm nor too cool 
And now for the last Lucas watercolor, that's green, yellow. Oh yes, here yeah. it looks like an olive. Almost golden. Oh, it's so amazing. So yeah, that was it for the Lucas colors. I hope you can see it all right, but as far as I can see in the viewfinder, it looks very looks very good here. And now I'm gonna try the Daniel Smith watercolors. So we've got um, naphthamite maroon, I think. Well, it is maroon, obviously. I just don't know if I um, pronounce that correctly. Oh boy, that is an intense color. God, Lana, you make me want to buy Daniel Smith paints. That's not fair. <laughs> that looks so good. I I promise I'm I'm not gonna buy more paints now. Um, I think I've got enough. So what is this one? Java Pie Genuine. It's, um, is it a natural oxide? As far as I know, I looked it up earlier and I forgot it again, but it's some natural occurring mineral. It does look a bit like um, burnt ochre or gold ochre maybe. Granulates quite a lot and it's not as intense as the other ones. So I suppose you need more paint. Ideally right out of the tube, but they all re-wet pretty nicely. So this is red fuchsite. Um, it looks so familiar. I think I have a fuchsite color. So that one sparkles a little and if I'm not mistaken, it's a Primatic series. So it's made from minerals, but yeah, please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm not, I have no access to the internet while I'm filming because I'm doing this on my phone. But yeah, that's it for the paints that I got in the mail. Um, let's just have a look at it from close up. So here you can see the sparkle very well, I hope. Um, the rest doesn't sparkle, but I, I didn't expect that. So those are very granulating. Um, this one too, quite like the gamboge, looks very warm. And the paper, just make sure that I'm not destroying everything, that's my Go to watercolor paper centenaire. Um, I do not speak French, so don't sue me, but you can order it online and I'm pretty sure you get it in Austria and Germany, but probably also other parts of the world. Um, but it's, yeah, it's available and I can only highly recommend it. It's great and that's it for this watching actually. So I hope you enjoyed it and as always, see you next time. Bye bye.